here's my personal reason why. And I know, I don't know it's very controversial. And like, if I could go back in time and not do the 12 days of messy, I would not. Katie Thurston goes live on IG and says that she regrets doing the 12 days of messy. Hey guys, and welcome back to another shared news. We got everything you need to know on the updates of Katie and John and the fallout of 12 Days of Messy. But before we get into it, make sure you guys are subscribed to our channel and ring the bell so you never miss out on any future videos. As always, I am your host and bachelor expert, Zachary Reality, and Katie has spoken out in regards to her very dramatic 12 Days of Messy and where she stands with new boyfriend John since going public just a few weeks ago. If you guys don't remember 12 Days of Messy, it got real messy real quick. 12 Days of Messy was Katie's fun or messy way of pairing up her exes with Taylor Swift songs, and she did one Taylor Swift song per day for every guy on her season. She seemingly decided to miss out on Greg when he could have or should have gotten day 11. And at the end of the 12 days, she announced that her and John from her season, the guy who was eliminated week two, are now in a relationship after being friends for six months first. And this comes just a few weeks after Katie and Blake ended their engagement. So there was a lot of mess going into the 12 days of messy, but hey, Katie did warn us it was going to get messy. So here's the thing that like, here's my personal reason why. And I know, I don't know it's very controversial. And like, if I could go back in time and not do the 12 days of messy, I would not, to be honest. Like I, I learned a lot in talking with Thomas and Becca and learning like how people view things and just it wasn't worth it. The one thing she regrets doing is throwing Thomas under the bus by giving him the song I Knew You Were Trouble. Once that happened on day four of 12 Days of, Me of Messy, Becca, Thomas's girlfriend, unfollowed Katie on Instagram because she was upset that Thomas started to get backlash from Katie giving him that song. Katie was able to talk to Becca and Thomas privately after her 12 Days of Messy ended. And Katie says that on her end, everything is well, but she kind of left it open-ended for how things were on Becca and Thomas's end. It seems like they were able to kind of talk it out and hear both sides of where each other was coming and come to a mutual understanding, but I don't think that they will be getting lunch or becoming BFFs anytime soon. Katie also wanted to make it a point to say that she knew going into day 12 that the post with John was going to get messy with the whole Blake situation. She didn't actually think that she was going to post that video of her and John being romantic kissing until the night before. She was kind of just planning on posting just a picture of them, like announcing their relationship. It was last minute, but she wanted to make a grand gesture to John and claim him, especially because she had to spend so much of her last relationship in hiding. She really just wants to be open, loud, and proud about her boyfriend and her boyfriend, the guy that makes her happy, is John. She says, you usually don't tell your ex when you are dating someone in the real world, so just because they are in the public eye, there is more pressure and more people pointing fingers at her for not giving Blake a heads up. I mean, I think that she could have told Blake because they're in the public eye, so he could have been prepared, but I do agree with her that in the real world, you don't tell your ex you're dating someone new unless you're, I guess, intertwined, and since her and Blake were intertwined in this whole bachelor bubble. It would have been great for her to give Blake a heads up. And she says maybe if she did, she would have gotten less scrutiny, but either way, she would have received scrutiny regardless. And I mean, Blake and Katie, you know, they were not living in the same place. Their relationship was truly not heading anywhere for a couple of months. So I don't blame Katie for moving on with John. I believe there was a lot of, you know, contractual obligations behind the scenes with Katie and Blake where they had to keep their relationship going until Michelle's season. So their breakup was definitely a little um, fake. And I think it was a little bit like, you know, we just have to be together. So, I mean, we can't fully blame Katie for the way she handled things with Blake. No matter if that looks that way in with the narrative, it's still like Blake played a part in it as well. The two of them were not meant to be together. They were not living together. So, um, I don't know. I really do enjoy Katie and her 12 days of messy. But yeah, she did get a little messy and maybe she wouldn't have done it like she said. But either way, it has led her to John and she's happier than ever and they are in a good place. And they're gonna have to figure out if they're gonna go live again because things definitely 
tea was spilled on the live. You know, they were a little tipsy. Um, Katie did end up posting a two and a half minute compilation, like the, you know, the summary of the live. She's not posting the whole thing to her Instagram, but there is some saving recordings out there if you want to catch part of it on the Bitchlorette's Instagram. So definitely go check out the Bitchlorette. Um, and that is all we have to share with you guys today. So let us know what you guys think of the 12 days of messy and this revelation that Katie had that she that it was quite in fact a mistake. Comment down below and make sure you guys are subscribed to our channel and ring the bell so you never miss out on any future Bachelor Bachelorette videos. As always, I am your host at Zachary Reality. You guys can follow me down below on Instagram, on TikTok for all your Bachelor and Bachelorette tea. Thank you guys so much for watching and we will catch you in the next one. See you later.